Hey everyone, Joel Lance here, and today we are going to get some Italian cuisine, guys. A very, very, very highly requested cuisine. Every time I do one of these videos, people love it. So we're just gonna go um, and order lots of food, have some fun, and eat them. So we're going to a place called Du Amici. I believe that's how it is pronounced. So this place is incredibly popular. It is in the, what they call, Ebor area of Tampa, Florida. Um, it looks like Y. It's spelled like Y-B-O-R, but it's Ebor. Uh, and essentially this place is just like so well known. They actually sell their sauces um, all across the country and like Walmart and stores, etc. cetera. Um, but not only they're known for their sauces, they're known for their Italian cuisine. They've been a staple kind of in that downtown, I don't know if it's down, like whatever that area it is, I guess for a long time. They've had like presidents visit, lots of prestigious individuals. Um, so I'm excited to go try this out. They're known for their pizza and pasta specifically. I mean, it kind of makes sense it is Italian after all. Additionally, they um, have this, I may, maybe I'll try to stop on by, I don't think it's open yet. They have this like, um, really uh, this wine and cheese bar next door, which would be cool. I've never been to a wine and cheese bar on this channel, so that'd be interesting if it's open. Um, but yeah, guys, so uh, besides that, Italian food, I know they have some different sandwiches. I definitely want to try one. I heard their uh, Philly cheesesteak, of all things, is really, really good. Uh, they do deli sandwiches there, too. Uh, and it's kind of like a New York originating Italian, you know what I'm saying? Kind of you know, uh, I don't know, I don't know what area of Italy, but definitely like the, uh, from my understanding, the restaurant and family originated from New York, and before that, Italy, Italy. So yeah, long story short, let's go have fun, eat the food, do amici, let's go. Audi wants are here with all the food. I am super excited, there's so much here. So uh, with a little help, I got all these items. I kind of was like, what do I need to try? What I do have here is I have their uh, Philly cheesesteak Euro or Hero, depends how you actually pronounce it. I got two pieces of pizza. I have the, at least called the Fresca here, um, which is like one of the most popular cheese, balsamic reduction, tomatoes, whatever. Delicious looking. I have the Buffalo chicken pizza. Actually what they said, um, you know, it is a Italian New York originating kind of family. So it makes sense. I mean, Buffalo, New York. I have their lasagna, the craziest looking lasagna I've ever seen in my life. Once we get into that, you'll see why. We have the chicken panini. I have the uh, chicken parm back here. And then I have the Caesar salad. And it's called the Italian Italian with meat sauce. Um, so yeah, guys, lots of food items, that's for sure. I'm definitely excited. So let's dive in and let's get eating. So I'm gonna try this chicken Caesar. Guys, I love, love, love a good chicken Caesar. It's been a long time since I had a good chicken Caesar. This looks awesome. We got the grilled chicken, I see spinach, obviously some nice romaine lettuce in here, all that signature dressing, and I got it on the side. Mm. Ooh, garlic. Garlic, I get some basil in there. Parmesan cheese, a really strong basil note. I'm actually not used to getting so much basil in a Caesar. But chicken's really good, definitely moist and juicy. You can also really taste like the grilled chicken. Very good flavor. For the sake of all the hot items, I'll come back to this. I mean, I just ate most of it anyway, but the salad can always be eaten. It was cold after all. Let's try this chicken panini we got going on here. So this looks really interesting. It is definitely cheese crusted. We have a fried chicken, kind of like the parm sauce. There's so much cheese in this as well, like crazy amount of cheese. Mm. Woo! Mm. Oh, that sauce, guys, that flavor. Look at that. Mm. Incredibly cheesy. It's not like a pita and a great flavor. This herb crusting with that parm. It's very good. I'm tipping that some more of that famous sauce. Mm. Oh yeah. That's where it's at. That's amazing. 
I should get a dish of the sauce. That was good. I like that. Maybe while we're on the sandwiches, maybe I'll try this Philly cheesesteak, the zero. So we have their grilled peppers and onions, their steak. The flavor of grilled peppers is amazing. That bread too, it's their own bread. It is soft and pillowy. Very, very moist, pillowy bread. With the cheesesteak, you really get the flavors of the actual cheese, the actual meat, the actual peppers. So you really taste everything. Very juicy, too, very moist. A little bit of oil to it. This bread, though, is so soft and fresh. So now these items here are really all what like Duomichi is really, 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 really known for. And again, the ones that they actually have like available in the market, featuring like the different sauces and then the pizzas, which they're again super known for. So these are all nice and hot. Probably gonna dive. I'll try some pizza. We're on kind of the handheld, then we'll go to the, you know, what do you call it? Not handheld items. Let's try the uh, Bresca pizza. So a classic, one of their favorites. The guy is hand tossing the dough right behind me as we speak. But let's give this a go, guys. This looks amazing. Oh my gosh. Mm. Yes, please. Woo! Basil and balsamic. Okay, wow. Oh my gosh. The freshness of that basil with the acidity and tartness of that balsamic reduction. Mm, that is amazing. I didn't know what to expect. This is amazing. All the flavors combined, you actually almost get like a fruity aspect to it. I am a fan. Like I know they do everything here, but man, it just tastes so fresh. Impressive. Here we try the buffalo chicken pizza. Again, honestly, not a flavor I would have ordered or nor expected. Let me know your favorite kind of pizza down below in a comment. I like more like the fresca, but they said this is this was a must, so hey, I got I trust them. They know the food better than I do. Well, you don't actually get much of a buffalo. You definitely get that ranch. So, I don't know, you get the cheese. So, you really get like a cheesy, ranchy chicken off of it. It does taste good. I will say, though, I thought this was going to have the stronger flavors. But I should have had the fresh guy after this one. This would go very well, like, with a lot of people's palates. Okay, that bite I got more buffalo. Okay, the last couple bites definitely got more of that buffalo. More of that punch I was expecting. But it's not a strong buffalo. So you don't have to worry about being like spicy or overly buffalo. Alright, let's try what they called the Tally Telly and meat sauce. So we got some grilled vegetables in here as well, which I love. Some zucchini, some peppers, some spinach. Ooh, nice and hot. Look at it. It's steaming. I mix it on up. Mmm. Woo! That is fresh. Mmm. The pasta has a great texture, a really nice bite to it. I really taste the tomato in the sauce. And the grilled peppers and onions in there are really providing a nice texture, a nice taste. 
I do like it. There's also some mushrooms. Yeah, it's a nice dish. No, again, like incredibly strong flavors. So again, I think it's very well suited for a lot of palates. But I do really like the grilled peppers, the grilled onions in this. Just very nice freshness. I'll come back to you after I try the other ones. So here we have the chicken parm and the lasagna. So let's get to this chicken, or this lasagna. This is a very interesting looking lasagna. In fact, I've never seen a lasagna like this before. So they, they, it was all kind of separated in a way, like they had the um, kind of lasagna, like the noodles and the meats separate, and then they added in here, then they added all the sauces, the extra cheese on top, which there is no shortage of cheese on top. There is so much parm, mozzarella on this, it is crazy. But let's try to get on in here, find us some 3D action by here you go guys. Look at cross section, all that cheese pulley. Hey, look at that, look what we got going on right there. Woo! But anyway, here we got the cross section on the lasagna. Try not to make it fall too much. There's lots of uh, meat in there. Mmm! Woo! Oh man! Mmm! Oh wow. All right, that is impressive. So I've never had a lasagna like that before. So the way I would describe it is again, normally when I think of a lasagna, I think of it like being a one dish item. If I can show you this, let's see. It's almost like the lasagna, like, like there's like pieces. Oh, you see that, but like, look at this. Like, if I pull it up, there's like cuts of lasagna. Lasagna, which is an incredible layer of meat. Lots of cheese in there. The noodles have this great texture. It almost has a spongy note, which is fantastic. And then there's like the sauce added. And then the cheese on top. Yeah, just like, but again, like this, see like the chunk of the lasagna. So it's almost like a, not deconstructed, but whatever it is, this is awesome. Lasagna is a keeper. Holy cheese though. If you like cheese, all these dishes, make you very happy. Yeah, definitely the most unique lasagna. And I would say a must try. Lots in here too. That meat is such a nice flavor too. Maybe a beef and pork mixture? Yeah, I'm not sure. But I like it. Anyway, this is a piece of cheese. That's a massive, massive, massive piece of cheese. Love that sauce though. That's fantastic. I actually cannot believe how much cheese in this. Cheese has its time and place. But right now, I don't want just a bite of cheese. I want to try the chicken parm, which also is covered in cheese. Garlic bread here, I'll try this garlic bread for a second. Mm. Really nice garlic knot. There's salt, the parm. There's some butter. Great texture on the knot. So it's parm. I think this is the same chicken maybe we had in the panini earlier. So there's a fried chicken. Mm. Ooh, nice flavor. There's a nice crispness and texture despite being covered in sauce. So this pasta and this sauce, it's like the round ones. It's a little different than I think the last one. It, it, it has a really light note of... Mm. Oh, that was a good bite. This, this, this pasta and sauce almost seems like a little richer. Just a very like simplistic 
but nice, like nicely flavored, kind of delicate sauce. That was a mouthful of chicken and cheese. Woo! Good dish, man. Heavy. Heavy, heavy. So with the, tom the tomato and the pasta, tried and chewed flavor. I really have no complaints. I'd say it's very traditional, very Italian, that's kind of what I would say. I'm not gonna lie though, there's a ton of cheese there. Like you said, you love cheese, this could be for you. Whew. So it's mostly, I ate all the chicken, which was great. The mostly noodles, and then the cheese left. So I'm gonna leave that for now. There's no shortage of cheese in the last, you know, however many minutes, that's for sure. I'm gonna dot back to this Caesar real quick. Good note. I gotta say though, that was really impressive. That lasagna was game changer. I've never had anything like that lasagna. Not really was special. That Euro, Hero, however you call that sandwich, the Philly cheesesteak, was fantastic. I really enjoyed that. And how did you that grilled chicken Caesar? I like it. Maybe, maybe I'll have a look at dessert real quick. There's a couple of really nice looking items. We I mean, kind of New York Italian made a cheesecake. I saw some cannolis. And I saw tiramisu. Let me know if you like cannolis, cheesecake, cheesecake, or tiramisu down below. And which one you'd want. It's getting a little busy, so let me get my order in real quick. So we don't gotta wait around for dessert too long, but I like it. Do Amici. Woo! Alright. So I've had enough pasta, enough Italian food for a long time, I'll put it that way, but it was all very delicious. Like I said, definitely try the lasagna. That was amazing. That fresca pizza, that was absolutely amazing too. I think those were probably my two favorite items I've owned. Oh, and that uh, the uh, Philly cheesesteak, the Euro. Don't cross that. Also, San Pellegrino, guys. Something about Italian food, San Pellegrino. Those finer micro bubbles, love it. All right, what I did get here, everybody, is I got cannolis. How can you go to an Italian place and not try a cannoli? It's usually like a New York style. And then a huge, giant New York style cheesecake. I like the both. What will I start with? Probably cannoli. It's gonna be, a, I think, a lighter, probably lighter flavor than the uh, cheesecake, but I could be wrong. So let's uh, give it a shot. Mmm. Mmm. Woo! The pastry, the shell. It's beautifully crunchy, which is a big thing for me. I don't like cannolis with a soggy, soft shell. That beautiful filling. The lovely notes of cinnamon in there. Not overly sweet. Very delicate. I could eat a lot of those. That was very, very good. And, of course, New York style cheesecake, here, buddy. Big old, big old piece, that's for sure. Let's give it a bite. Yes, please. Woo! That is a good cheesecake. It has a really, really, really nice sourness to it. Mm. Now you expect from that cream cheese, great tartness, very sharp, but then there's a really nice sweetness. Round it out. That is a very, very delicious. Mm. Definitely stands out from a lot of like generic cheesecakes. Because it has such that nice, mm, sharp, mm, kind of cream cheese flavor. And it's nice and light. Like texture wise. That was amazing. 
and I have definitely, absolutely, 100% had way more than enough food. So that was really awesome. I'm glad I got to make it to do a Michi while I was here. Um, this is the Ebor, Ebor, that's what it's called. It's like the area of Tampa it's in. Yeah, like I said, this place is known from all over. They've had like presidents, celebrities, everybody come here. So it was a must stop for me when I was in the Tampa area. In Tampa, essentially. I think it's just like a neighborhood they call Ebor. Don't sleep on the cheesecake. Don't sleep on the fresco pizza. Don't sleep on that lasagna. So that everybody, of course, the next time, hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know your favorite item we had today down below. And that's the next time, of course, a happy, healthy, hungry. Happy, healthy, hungry, work my fingers. Happy eating. Until next time, have a lovely day. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.